I'm Foy Vance, a singer and songwriter from Northern Ireland. I've released three studio albums, which has allowed me to tour all over the world for the last 10 years. Recently, between tours, I took some time to travel the States to dig in and discover what makes these American cities amazing destinations. One place I really wanted to visit was Muscle Shoals, the birthplace of American rhythm and blues. Some of the most legendary songs of all time were recorded right there, in that little town on the fabled banks of the beautiful Tennessee River. My first stop was the place where it all started, Fame Recording Studios. You can stop in and take a tour. Hi. Hi. Can I help you? I'm Foy. Hi, I'm Linda Hall. So good Linda, to meet you. Linda Hall, nice to meet you. Linda Hall, wife of the late Rick Hall, the iconic producer and founder of Fame. This is the studio where all of the hits was recorded. This Wurlitzer is the Wurlitzer that was played on Aretha Franklin's first sessions. Rick loved his artists that he worked with, and he was fortunate to find these artists locally, like uh, Jimmy Hughes, North Alexander, they were local guys. And then Percy Sledge, when Rick heard uh, when a man loves a woman, he just he just knew it was a hit. And of course, the rest is history. And Fame feels like walking into a time capsule, but I found it was much more than a museum piece. They did, and this one is uh, Wilson Pickett here. I love that picture too. He was from outer space when he came along, right? Oh, yeah, <laughs> really. <laughs> and I was lucky enough to see the famed master tapes and historical first-run pressings. Oh, there it is. Yeah. I'm tripping out. The music made here has gone on to sell over 350 million records worldwide. And it's still a working studio. I even got a chance to play with famed session musicians and record a brand new version of one of my songs. One, two, three, four. Get out your feet tonight. We're gonna dance by fire tomorrow. Studios are the big hit of Muscle Shoals and the reason everyone visits, but there's so much more to this area. The towns of Florence, Sheffield, Tuscumbia, nature, and an undeniable southern charm. I met up with Suzanne Hamlin. She's lived here most of her life and knows the lay of the land. This is one of several trails in the area. A lot of them, of course, are trails for horses, but this is one that leads down to a rock bluff shelter that probably would have been used by the American Indians years ago. This is all part of Seven Springs Lodge at the foothills of the Appalachian Mountains. You must be hungry. Let's grab a bite to eat. Where in this area? <laughs> we'll find a good place, I assure you. Yeah. Suzanne introduced me to the family who owns Seven Springs Lodge and their restaurant, Rattlesnake Saloon. Hey, how's it going? How welcome, you? welcome, to Rattlesnake Saloon. William Foster, how you doing? William Foster, I'm Foy. Good to meet you, man. So, 1998. I've always wanted something underneath that rock out there. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And is it live music every week? It is. Singing rock under a rock. Oh, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So you said you want to try this hot sauce. It's yes. coming out, brother. I'm telling you, it's hot. It's not a gimmick. It is the real deal. <laughs> Sneaking up a little bit. It, it's <laughs> it's going to be hot. I'm going to tell you. There was one more iconic place for me to see. Muscle Shoals Sound Studio, where the Rolling Stones, Rod Stewart, Paul Simon, Cher, and so many other artists recorded some of their biggest hits at 3614 Jackson Highway. In 1969, the Swampers, the session musicians from fame, decided to open their own studio. We have a picture over here of the Rolling Stones standing right out there on our porch. This was during their, their three-day session here back in December of 69. If you look behind them, there's a big orange couch and chair right here. That is this couch. These are original to the studio. They've never left the building since 1969. The couch also folds out into a bed. You know, we don't have to go into every detail of its history, but <laughs> use your But the Rolling Stones are here. That's right. <laughs> In addition to providing tours of this incredible piece of music history, these guys are also back doing what they do best, 
recording music. This is the listening test. This is where this is where all the bands came to listen to their uh, to their tracks that they just recorded because the control room's too small. So they crank it up and sit out here. Just being like the Rolling Stones, no big deal. Turn it up! There's so much history in there, it's hard to take it all in. I love muscle shows. The moment you set foot in this magical and inspiring place, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs>